Welcome back shooters and collectors. Earlier in my previous video, I disassembled and showed you the inner workings of the Quart Revolver and I was gonna reassemble and I figured, hey, why not just go ahead and make another video? Might as well do it. So here we are. Hopefully this video will be rated G and there won't be any swear words or anything like that. They usually go back together pretty quickly and I'll show a few pointers that I've learned along the way from disassembling it a few times. The first thing I'll do is take this and install it. So you have to turn it upside down, put the spring in first, and then just press it in place like that and make sure that it's in the frame. You'll notice that the hole is a little bit off center from the frame hole. And what we're gonna do is in a little bit, we'll just, as we insert the hammer, we'll, we'll push it down and it'll fall into place hopefully rather easily. Next thing we have to do is put the trigger back. I went ahead and replaced the disc that I was talking about with the number five because I prefer that, the stacking on that instead. If everything is well oiled, this little pin, this little guy here, make sure that it doesn't fall out on you because uh, you, you probably won't notice it until you get everything back together and then you'll say, hey, what's this pin for? But the thing you need to really take into account, and I didn't show you on the other video, but here is the slot that this goes into and you really want to make sure that it's it's in there because otherwise you'll get it all back together and then the trigger will be really heavy or something will be wrong it just won't be smooth at all and then you have to take it apart again to get it to get it all back together so let's go ahead and put the trigger in now and just put this in here so the disc won't fall out like so and well, what you want to kind of do is get the screw for the trigger and slide this in as such, press this back, and then make sure that the, that, that piece there is in the groove. Then take your screw for the trigger and wiggle it around and press it through so it sort of holds the trigger in place like that. And if you move the trigger back, you'll see this piece here move back and forth so you know it's in the groove properly. You'll figure out pretty quick as you're trying to get the plate on that, that there's something wrong here and the trigger will actually be sticking out more. So the next thing we'll do is install the hammer, which is right here. And like I said, that hole, those holes aren't aligned up. So what we're, we want to do is get it in the first hole and you'll sort of feel it fall into place as such. And while you're doing that, you also want to make sure that your disc and everything is between these two pieces right here. So all we're going to do is sort of press down and press it a little bit forward so we get, get this pin to go into the second hole of the frame and it's aligned. So right now you can sort of see that yes, the the disc is, goes back and forth and this goes up and down so everything is done properly so far. Next all we have to do is install this little guy here. Do that. Nah. Meanwhile while I'm talking to you and doing all this I'm still keeping my finger on this screw right here on the back side so it doesn't fall out otherwise then the trigger will move and get mis and misalign everything else and then you're you have to start all over again. So you can see these two pieces. Let's get this done properly. And there we go. So that's all in. That looks good. The next thing is the spring for the hammer. And I used a hex wrench right here for it. And you want to make sure that you don't install it like this because it actually will install but it won't work properly. So you want to make sure that you do have this installed correctly. And I'm just going to rub this down a little bit with an oily cloth. And go ahead and install it. And when you install it, of course there's a groove here. It goes against that pin there. It goes into that pin. And then there's a small groove here as well. And that goes against this pin. And this can shift very easily as you're trying to get the plate back on and pop off. So you really want to make sure that it stays on that pin. So we'll push the hammer forward, 
So this can go in. And then you can pull the hammer back to make sure that this is in that groove and that this is in the groove as well. And then once that's done, you can remove your hex. And then from there, you take your plate, make sure that this is up, this, this moves very easily down, of course. And then take your plate. The plate has a little pleat on it. The plate's also very sharp. I cut myself earlier on it. Uh, wipe that down a little bit. Just on the inside with an oily rag. Oily cloth there. And we'll go ahead and reinstall it. So you can see the cleat right there on the top. I'm going to press it in. And then from there, I think, let's see here. I think we have a little bit of a problem. The, yeah, the hammer popped out a little bit. Easily fixed. Press that in, press that in. That looks good. So, align everything up. And now the thing that's holding it, I'm trying to push down the plate, but this piece here popped out. So we'll just push it back in, gently. There we go. The plate dropped down a little bit more, but what's holding it up is the screw on the trigger because it's pressing against it. And we don't want to press it too hard because we don't want to do anything to the threads. So we'll go ahead, we'll just gently pull it out a little bit as such to allow us to push the plate in even more now. And it does take a lot of pressure because it And we just want to make sure that everything is lined up properly, that we're not doing anything that we shouldn't be on the to the to the gun. It looks good. All right. So as of right now, we can give it a few soft taps, and that's about it. So just put the screws back in. We'll do that. All out of focus, but and the other super duper important screw right here for the trigger. Let's see if we can get that going. Very fine threaded, so be very careful when you're doing this. Get it started by your hand. There we go. And that's about it. So that seems to work. The release seems to work. That seems to work. It's all good. Just a few other little screws and it'll be done. So that's how you get it back together. It's not that big of a deal. Just you know, be mindful of this piece here. It always seems to pop out. And you'll know if you did it incorrectly is if if you don't notice it that it popped off the groove popped off the little um, pin there you'll go to put the grips on and the screw hole here this will actually be in the way of the screw hole that's how you'll know and you'll be like wait a second how's that possible how did that work does the thing move or something when, when you cock it which it does move a little bit a little forward but it doesn't move that much and so you'll know definitely that uh, it, the groove it popped off the the pin so you have to fix that and that's my video so get it back together it's not uh, it's not that bad and uh, and really it's uh, easily it's easy to uh, take apart oil grease it all up and then maintain it well thanks for watching hope all goes well please don't email me with advice or anything like that because um, I won't call myself a, a Bubba gunsmith or whatnot because this is this is pretty easy and I'm not doing any modifications to it or anything. But you know, definitely uh, I'm I'm not the expert. Definitely email or talk to somebody at Nighthawk about it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Have a good day.